Good morning, and welcome to our daily devotional. My name is Megan Emanuel, and I'm the Children's Ministry Director here at Lord of Life. We appreciate you joining us each day at 11.30 a.m. to pause, reflect, and connect. For today's children's message, um, kiddos, I want to talk about our hearts. And I, in fact, I even brought one with me to help as we talk about our hearts. It's something we all have. Um, and so I am curious, though, if you look at my heart here, it's nice, it's smooth, it's you know nice and flat. And I would think um, this is kind of like our heart that we have inside of us when we're having a good day, when we are, you know, things are really working well for us. Maybe someone's shown us kindness, or maybe someone gave us a compliment or told us we were doing a great job at something. That all makes our heart feel really good. And so this is my heart when it's feeling really good. So just so you can see it on the outside. But I also want to show you that not every day is like that. Not every day do we have a really good day where our heart is feeling really good. Some days we might be playing with our friends and all of a sudden one of our friends says, hey, you're being really me. And look what happens. And then maybe we're, you know, I'm still playing with our friends and our friend grabs that toy and says, that's mine. I'm not sharing. And look what happens to our heart. And then maybe that we're riding bikes and all of a sudden all our friends take off in front of us and leave us all by ourselves, and we're just pedaling and no one's with us anymore. And then maybe we're at home and our brother or sister, we're playing with them and they say, you're a liar, that's my toy. Or you're being a mean brother or mean sister. And look what's happening. Every time one of those words is being said or one of those actions are being done, Look what's happening to our heart now, friends. And if I open it back up, is my heart the same smooth, flat, and like nice heart that I had on a day when I was having a really good day? I bet you're saying, no, Miss Megan, that heart is pretty crinkled and wrinkled. And as much as I try, friends, to flatten that heart back and make it nice and smooth like it was when we started, if you look really close, there's still a lot of crinkles and wrinkles in my heart. I can't flatten it back. And that's what I want you to remember, friends, that when we say words that may not be kind to someone or we do something that may not be kind, those actions and those words, they hurt our hearts and they put wrinkles in our hearts, just like this one. And we can't unwrinkle our heart. We can't make those wrinkles go away once we say something or do something. And the Bible even reminds us to let no evil talk come from our mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is a need so that your words may give grace to those who hear it. So Jesus wants us to be speaking kindness and to be speaking love so that we are not adding wrinkles to someone's heart. And another little phrase to help you remember this, friends, is before you act or speak, think and be smart. It's hard to fix a wrinkled heart. And so that's my little takeaway I want you to remember, friends, that I want us all to have those flat, smooth hearts where we're having good days and we're having kindness shown to us and good words being said because it feels good. And we, we want to not wrinkle those hearts of ours or our friends or family. So that's my hope for you today, friends, is that we can remember to think smart because it's hard to take a wrinkle out of a heart. Please pray with me. Dear God, thanks for loving us. Thank you for helping us to say and do kind things. Help us to share your love with others. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me today, friends, and every day, Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. for our daily devotionals. And I encourage you to join us this Sunday at 9.31 a.m. or 10.45 a.m. for our um, contemporary service first and then our traditional service um, second. In person and online, we offer for um, both services. So, and again, I thank you for all the generous ways that you are helping and blessing so many around us in our congregation and in our community. And as my Kids Life kiddos and I say every Sunday, peace be with you.